Hey everybody, welcome back, it's unboxing time, and today we are here to cause me some pain, some glorious, glorious, happy pain. We're here to open up the January 2020 Hot Heat in this Hot Ones box. Ooh, muy caliente. Please no nines or tens, please no nines or tens. If you want to check out the Heat and Hot One subscription box, um, I have a link in the description below. And basically every month they're going to send you three fabulous hot sauces of varying heat ratings from, a lot of them come from Hot Ones, which is of course the first We Feast show on YouTube, which is a fantastic show of interviewing celebrity guests with hot wings and even hotter questions or something like that. Um, Sean Evans, it's a great time. You've seen it. They also have the game show The Last Dab, Truth or Dab, things like that. I love it. I'm excited. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see what three sauces we got here today. I'm gonna do a little taste test right out of the bottle. Then I'm gonna go cook either some wings or chicken nuggies or something. And <laughs> we're gonna taste test the hot sauce on food. And I'm gonna try and read some of your comments and questions while I eat. Um, so it's similar to doing hot ones. So make sure you're leaving comments on these videos or getting in on the Discord server because I do ask some of the Discord folks for questions as well. We also have a membership join button down there, uh, Patreon link down there, merch store link down there, and a whole lot more. So make sure you're checking out all my links. We do a lot of fun stuff. But I'm anxious to get in here, see what the theme is, see what hot sauces we're getting. Hopefully, uh, I meant to have my website up too. I'm gonna have the Heatonist website up so we can see some extra information about the hot sauces. So you're gonna go to heatonist.com, I believe. Yep, heatonist.com. All right, well, nothing really left to do this but to open it up. See, first with the sticker. There should be a card. We're going to set the card aside so we don't spoil what we got. I got that sticker. So we have the heat in the sticker. Let me find the other sticker. There's usually like kind of a theme sticker in here. Maybe not this month. Maybe it fell out. Maybe it fell under. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't got one. Maybe we'll find it later. Anyways, we got the heat in the sticker. So I'll show you that real quick. Comes in every box, that's nice. Just throw it on your guitars, your guitar cases, your whatnots. And uh, away we go, let's see what sauces we got, shall we? All right, first up, I'm going from uh, the box. If I'm looking at the box, I'm going from the left to the right, like I'm reading a book. And first up, we have Odoboloco Minas Bra. Open, pour, enjoy, repeat. Roasted sweet pepper jalapeno sauce, mild. That sounds delicious, and it's mild. I could use some mild, I'd really, I'm not feeling like going super hot today, but we'll see what happens. So uh, yeah, it's a Hawaiian pigeon, Mahina Spra. It's a playful mix on the word minor or no big deal and blended with the name of Mina Bird, introduced to Hawaii in 1865. Mina's Bra is a smooth flavor, blended roasted jalapeno, sweet chili pods, cultivated specifically for flavor with little to no heat, honey, fresh garlic and sea salt. We've made the really hot stuff. Now it's time for some sauce just about anyone can handle. Mina's Bra. All right, well, let me show you this, what it looks like. You get a sense of it. We'll bring it in close. And of course, we're gonna see what the other sauces are before we get in here. Nice little red. I love jalapeno. Sweet sounds great. So I'm gonna guess they're gonna list this as like a two. I'm gonna go check the website here in just a second. Just wanna make sure you get a chance to see all of that stuff. I got a real good feeling about this one. So, so let me get on Heatonist and we're gonna go under search. Come on, search our store. And it is M-Y, oops, N-A-H, Mina Spra, here we go. All right, loading it up. This is a $12 sauce. I think this whole box shipping and all cost me $36, by the way. I wanted to tell you that. Um, yeah, this is considered a two out of 10. It's a Hawaiian barbecue sauce. That sounds phenomenal. Mwah, I'm excited to get it. Although if I get a two and a three, that means they're probably giving me a nine or a 10. They do like to torture me, so. But yeah, that sounds delicious. All right, anxious to try that one. Let's see what the next, bo next sauce is. Come on, baby. And we get, ooh, looks nice. Ooh, Hellfire Hot Sauce, Roasted Reaper, Devil's Blend. Okay, oh, a nice, like, green sauce. Uh, Devil's Blend Roasted Reaper, our award-winning Fire Roasted Verde Sauce. Features a blend of Carolina Reaper, habanero, and jalapeno peppers, and roasted garlic. Granny Smith green apples, tomatillos, scallions, and cilantro, a hint of lime, and you have the masterpiece flavor forward with just the right amount of heat. Voted best taco sauce. Enjoy. Hell yeah, that sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. I'm, I'm guessing that's gonna be a three or a four. Man, where's Guy Fieri? Because we're being taken to Flavor Town, y'all. Those are like all words. Oh, this one you refrigerate after opening. Okay, I need to be aware of that. I don't often refrigerate my hot sauces afterwards. 
I wonder if I have some other ones that I was supposed to refrigerate. <laughs> now that I think about it. Yeah, look at all that peppery goodness. Well, as best I can show you anyways, from that angle. But that looks fantastic. Let us see what the Heatonist website says about this one. All right, let me get to the search box. Search box, clear out the last search. Come on, clear out the last search. We got Devil's Blend Hellfire. Devil's Blend. We'll just go to Devil's Blend, see what comes up. I see it in a triple pack. Ah, can't get, can't get it on it. I can't find the listing on its own unless I do uh, Devil's Blend Hellfire. Devil's Blend Hellfire. Damn it, they don't have it as a single. So I can't tell you what it costs. It's part of a three pack that's $30. So I'm gonna call this $10. So we should be at 22. And uh, boop, 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 boop. all right. Mm. They're not gonna, oh, they don't, they don't got their heat rating on this one. That sucks. But it is the hottest of those three. So I don't know, but it should be pretty tasty. So I can't really find you any more information because they don't have it as an individual listing. That is a bummer. All right, last but not least, what are we doing? What's the one that's probably gonna end up killing me today? Let's find out. <laughs> oh boy. We've got, ooh, torchbearer sauces, honey badger, honey mustard. Oh, accidentally healthy, healthy intentionally delicious, killer, gluten-free. I mean, I don't care, but that all sounds good. What are the ingredients? Apple cider vinegar, scorpion pepper, honey, distilled white vinegar, water, Canola oil, brown sugar, mustard powder, Carolina Reaper pepper, white sugar, cayenne pepper, powder, black pepper, turmeric, mustard seed, granulated garlic, salt, and garlic. Oh, that sounds tasty as hell. Some nice artwork on the bottle as well. I don't know. I mean, even though this may be the hot one in here, possibly, that looks phenomenal. It sounds delicious. And again, depending on how much scorpion and stuff they use, it might not be too bad. Famous last words before I die on camera from heat death. One of these days I'll have to give this up because I'm gonna get too old and not be able to handle it anymore. <laughs> Look at that deliciousness. That looks fantastic. All right, let's look this one up. And then we'll get to my initial taste testing. Oh, I didn't mean to leave the site. Hold on, we're going back into heatness. <laughs> going over to the search box. I have to hit everything tight twice because my, my fat thumbs torch. Bearer, uh, honey badger, honey badger. There it is. It's a fourteen dollars sauce, so we pretty much hit our value. That's fine. It's also curated, so I count that as some of the money. Oh, it's listed as a seven out of ten. So as long as this thing is somewhere between the two, oh, I don't have to die this time. I know y'all like it, but I need a break every once in a while. <laughs> Next month will be rough. That means. And I believe this is uh, on the season 14 lineup. I don't know. Um, and it's called Honey Mustard Black Pepper. So all three of those sound delicious. Now we do have this card, but we're gonna look at that and I'm gonna read that to you after I do the cook session while this stuff is all hot in my mouth. While I'm all hot and bothered. Oh, I found the sticker. I found the other sticker. So it's just a 2021 Hot Ones logo. That's pretty nice. I'm down for that. That's a good, good thing to have. All right, we get this box out of my way. Let's bring over the spoons and the plate of doom, although it sounds like a plate of deliciousness today. So I'm very excited. So we are gonna start with the Minas Bra. I'm probably, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciation. The pronunciation? Pronounce, pronunciation. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the word. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm just excited to try this because it sounded so good. And it's like a two. I'll just see if Mary wants to come up and try some. She's downstairs having dinner. <laughs> Give it a little shake a shake a shake -a. And what are we working with here? Ooh. Oh, that smells divine. Oh, it just smells like a nice sweet barbecue. Mmm. All right, let's get down here. Let's see how it pours. Oh, it's a little thin. Eh, you know, we'll go a little harder on this since it's a two. Eh, why not? It sounds really tasty. So that's what you're working with. Looking pretty tasty. Mmm. Mmm. Really sweet up front. Oh, barbecue-y. Oh yeah, it's got that nice vinegar. That's sweet, then vinegar. Barely any heat. As a matter of fact, I'm not really getting any heat, but that's, that's okay. Sometimes you just want a flavorful sauce. 
That's a flavorful sauce. That's a sauce I could drink right out of the bottle. That is delicious. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Mmm. Honestly, I kind of want to go back for seconds. That is awesome. I haven't eaten dinner today either, so that's what's next. I got to go shoot a couple of cooking vlogs. Um, but yeah, for Patreon, one is for Patreon and one is for YouTube memberships weekly. Hey. Um, so if you like the cook segments here, I do it even more intensely on there. That is awesome. That is delicious. That's my favorite so far, but I think all three of these are going to be incredible. All right, let's find the way to get in here. Nope, I'm going to have to cheat it with the knife. So again, I'm just assuming this one comes in the middle of these three. It was in the middle of the box. I could not find the heat rating on it. And it's in the warm-up. It's got to be one of the lower raters. I just realized the three pack it was in on the hot one site. It's in the season 14, so it's a season 14 sauce. It's in the warm-up pack, which means definitely the, uh, the, the lighter heat level. <laughs> Sorry, my allergies are actually kicking in. This has nothing to do with the heat. There was not enough heat in there to make that happen. But I'm very excited for this. I love me some salsa verde. Tomatillos, lime, cilantro. I mean, hmm. Oh yeah, there it is. There's that cilantro and tomatillo. Hmm. Oh, that sounds delicious. All right, let's see how watery it is or thick. I'm sure this is gonna pour out pretty well. I'm gonna go hard on this one too. Oh, jeez. Look at that made a mess. Okay. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Oh, definitely heating up. Mmm. That is awesome. Oh yeah, that lime is in there, that vinegar and that lime. Cilantro on the cool down. There's some good heat here. I'm gonna say it's like a four, maybe a five. Mmm. But also I took a really big spoonful. Oh, that is delicious. Tacos, they said tacos, yeah. I could see that on some chorizo tacos. I've got some homemade refried beans I did for the first time they are delicious. Throw that and that sauce in a tortilla, boom. Little white onion I got diced down there. Wish that could be my dinner, but I've already got plans for other things, but yeah. That would also be fantastic on like a plate of nachos. Oh, hell yeah. So whenever I try to make salsa verde from now on, this is where this is more what I'm aiming for. That's delicious. Oh yeah, the jalapenos in there, and I love it. Mm. Yeah, I get it. I get a little bit of habanero. Oh man. Well, that's awesome. All right, so one more. We got the honey badger. Now this is a seven out of ten. This one should take me up a little bit. But I love my mustards, and it's funny that it's a honey mustard because I'm pretty sure one of the things I'm about to go make is a salad and my own homemade honey mustard dressing. So I think that's kind of funny. Although again, after eating all this, maybe my plans need to change. <laughs> but I do want to make those compound butters. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, seed hit the back of my throat there. Oh, very mustardy, very vinegary. I get a little bit of the honey and the smell, that sweetness. It smells kind of awkward, not bad, just kind of awkward, the sweetness and the heatness. That's a new, I like that phrase. All right, so this ought to come out a little bit thicker. I'm not gonna go crazy with this one. Mm. Mm. Come on now. He says he's not gonna go crazy and then watch it just like, I didn't shake it up that well. Come on. Good things come to those who wait, there we go. off the edges there. So I don't think I'm supposed to have that liquidy runny bit, but that looks really good. Mm, very vinegary, very vinegary. Well, I guess this is really the mustard. Okay, here we go. Mm, mm. Oh yeah, that honey, that sweetness is real up front. Ooh, there's that honey mustard. I think it might be a bit of a building heat. Yeah, yeah, here it comes. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the cooking session and then we'll jump, we'll cut when it cuts back. I'm just, there's no time in between, but watch me cook and eat. Okay, everybody, welcome to the cooking, cooking section. I decided to be lazy. Mary and I have a ton of shows we wanna watch and games we need to play. So I'm just gonna make some chicky nuggies in the air fryer. 
And uh, we'll sit down, we'll try these three sauces. Plus I made a delicious homemade honey mustard last night that I'm gonna try on one of these wings as well. Um, and that vlog will be on Patreon today. It comes out the same time this does, of me making that. Ooh, there's some leftover garlic bread that's also from a Patreon vlog. Actually, I think that's from a YouTube member vlog. Whatever, both those places get cooking video vlogs right now. <laughs> Cooking up all kinds of crazy good things or screwing up some things, but I don't know if that happened yet, so I'm not gonna tell you. All right, uh, actually, I guess it was in today's video. Anyways, let me get these uh, nuggies in the air fryer. Let's see, conventional microwave air fryer. 16 to 20 chicken nuggies and 360 for seven to eight minutes. And I'll sit down and answer some of your questions and eat these delicious hot sauces. And I guess maybe get a beer? Yeah, I'll have a beer, why not? Okay, we had 17 chicky nuggies. Is that 17? That doesn't look like 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 chicky nuggies. They're going in, <laughs> sorry if that's annoying, but it's fun. They're going in the air fryer for 360 degrees for seven to eight minutes. So power. Oh, that's right. I can't get to 360. A bad air fryer. <laughs> uh, that's right. We'll go 350. We'll go a little low and slow. We'll probably just run them the whole eight minutes. I'm going to throw it in for nine just in case I feel an extra. And boom. Now we need a drink. <laughs> Out to the beer fridge we go. And let's see if it's actually on. We're having a GFI issue. <laughs> We've been trying to track down where the actual problem is, but sounds like at least my fridge is running. My beer fridge is running. My beer and water. Oh, we got a Shiner Buck candy pecan. I don't feel like that. Let's see. We got some of these beers I dropped. We got a Mad Tree, Thunder Snow, Scottish Ale, Cinnamon, Ginger, Nutmeg, Vanilla Beans. That sounds pretty good. Uh, Brooklyn Winter Lager, Holiday Lager. That's like a, something I don't want right now. Imperial Red, eh. Two Roads IPA. The sauces aren't hot enough. I think the best beer choice I have right now is gonna be this. I'm just gonna have one beer because I'm gonna switch to wine while we uh, do other things. So well, let's uh, pour this beer and see what we think. All right, so we have another Office Blast today. We're going with Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica. We're gonna, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I didn't bake shit. Um, something on the counter the beer kind of tripped on. Let's also hope this doesn't over foam. No, it's all good. It's all good. We're gonna pour this. Nice dark ambery color. Doo -doo -doo. How long? We got five minutes left on my countdown on the nuggies, which means I should really go over there and shake them up. So that's what the beer looks like. I didn't really get a lot of head out of that. <laughs> so this is a spiced Scottish ale. Warming ah, vanilla spiced. Uh, the conditions have to be just right for the formation of thunder snow. Ginger, nutmeg, vanilla, hints of cinnamon, and a bready malt sweetness have the, are the secret. When you find this rare occurrence, savor it as long as you can. Hops are Northern Brewer and Pearl. Malts are Two Row, Caramel 90L, Victory, Extra Special, Melo Melodian, Chocolate Rye, and Chocolate. Adjuncts are nutmeg, ginger, vanilla bean, and cinnamon. Uh, that is all the information that they give on their site. We'll try that in a minute. Sorry, I wasn't looking. Let's take a quick look at these. Oh, we're already down to four minutes. Give them a little shake a shake -a. Pop them back in. Now let's try this beer. I'm not big on like chocolatey notes in beer, but man, my hair is a mess. Mm, it smells pretty good. Well, oh. Yeah, the chocolate definitely comes through, which is not my favorite, but it works pretty well with the vanilla and everything. Hey, you know what? I guess I'm having chalky, adult chalky milk after all. <laughs> uh, a little bit bitter on the back end. It's definitely kind of a heavier, almost sweeter flavor than I really anticipated, but eh, not bad. I don't think this is something I like enough to buy again, but for what it is, it's pretty tasty. So I guess we'll drink that while I go get my uh, questions ready for the Chicky Chicky Nug Nugs. Chicky Nugs, not drugs. <sighs> All right, so we has a plate of Chicky Chicky Nug Nugs. I'll let them cool a little bit. I probably should have let them cool some more, but I'm hungry and I had a piece of garlic bread. My delicious garlic bread, also in one of the vlogs somewhere. I, 
I perfected a garlic bread, man. Oh my God, it's so good. Anyways, we have 12 comments. So we actually have some decent comments today. So let's go ahead and read one before we dive into the fun, shall we? So <clears throat> first comment is from Kim Bear from two weeks ago. It says, do not read this comment in your next video, damn it. Oh. So first up, we have booked from two weeks ago. <laughs> Very scathing. Um, says, I love your videos and especially hot ones. Keep the good work up. Well, I certainly will. No matter what happens, I'm gonna keep getting these hot one sauces because I love it. And uh, I enjoy eating these sauces and trying them for you. I don't know that I enjoy making the whole video, like the fancy parts of it. This part's fine. I dig this part, especially reading your comments, but thank you for the love. So we're gonna dive in. So this is a honey mustard I made yesterday. And it is phenomenal. Uh, I found, and it's on one of the vlogs. It's on, I think it's called, I don't know what it's called. I think it's the I'm So Ashamed vlog. Found it in here, seriously good salads. These salads are not healthy salads, but um, this dressing is super easy and it was barely an inconvenience. And um, it's basically just some olive oil, white wine vinegar, honey, Dijon mustard, little salt, little black pepper, and boom, and it is spectacular. And I really wanted to try some chicken in here. <sighs> So I'm gonna, and there's like no heat to this at all. So, you know, that's why we're going with the number one. Let me give it a little bit more of a stir. It's a little, actually it held together pretty good from last night. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> um, I don't really wanna dip it all in this cup. So I'm gonna take a chicken nugget. I have a second plate set aside and I'm just gonna take, that's why I had the spoon too, is I'm just gonna kind of spoon a bunch of this onto the chicken nug. I'm sure this is gonna be delicious because this sauce was delicious. I was like licking the bowl practically. Uh-oh, Mary's coming. <laughs> Mary wants. <laughs> She's doing a little cat dance. I might've put too much there. I mean, you can definitely have some, but let me, let me, let me, let me, let me try mine. <laughs> She's sniffing like a kitty. Mm. Oh my God, dude. Oh. Okay, let me, let me, let me prep you one here. Oh man. <laughs> mm. That is really good on these. That is really good. Yeah. Just kind of want to see they can see what I'm doing here. Mm. And then I don't know if you want to. What? You want to, so they can see oh, your oh, reaction. Yeah, see <clears throat> if, if you're okay with that. Obviously, she's not going to be quite as expressive, but that's very good. That is, that is, that is, that is dope. If I wasn't planning on more salads with that dressing, I would be just dipping these right in there. But I forgot I got other sauces I need to get to. Hmm. Just mm. clean it off the plate. That is awesome. Yeah, very good. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? That is insanely high praise coming from Mary. Kim knows. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, okay. I've got to put that away and uh, get to the get to the real deals here. Ah, that's so good though. That's so fucking good. <laughs> and I guess I'm hungry too because those chicken nuggets are hitting the spot. All right. So uh, next comment is Jeff Glotfelty. What's up, Jeff? He is one of my patrons. He is also a YouTube member. Thank you. I believe you're at super supporter level, which is fine. You get some cool stuff. He gets uh, my WandaVision reviews and uh, the whole Karate Kid Cobra Kai series review we're doing, which is awesome. And then we'll be, I'll, be, I'll be moving into the Resident Evil series after that. And so that's like a base perk on uh, the YouTube memberships. You want to check that out. $1.99 a month. You get 5% off of the merch store and you get those two videos every week. Maybe something extra a little bit on occasion. But thank you, Joff. I'm so glad you're here. Y'all see he also has a really cool little badge. You'll see a little icon there. Anyways, he says, great vlog. Always love watching you try hot sauces and seeing Mary as well. Well, there you go, Jeff. Joff, you, did, I, you still won't tell me if I should say Jeff or Joff because there's an O in there. And I'm like, it's, I think it's Joff. But he's like, whatever, man. He's so cool. He's just like, I don't care. I don't care what you call me. But thank you, Joff. I appreciate that a bunch, buddy. And uh, so now we're going to move on to this uh, Minas Bra. Mary, Mary might want this one too. She, I think she tried a little of this sauce and uh, dug it. Again, heat level two, so it's not gonna be too bad. Now I'm not pouring these into dipping cups yet because I don't know which one I wanna actually sacrifice to the dipping gods. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Oh my God. Oh, it's so good. That's probably what I'm gonna put in the dipping cup. All right, what was Jeff's, oh yeah, we did that. All right, next up we have Clinton Wong. Oh, what's up Clinton? He was here last time. And uh, he says, hey Eric, thanks so much for picking my recommendation. Hopefully it helped with the heat. I have been subbed to you for years and your gaming videos inspired me to create my own channel with my friends during during the, the shutdown. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the word, sorry. <laughs> Uh, channel Couch Co-op. Thanks again and love the video. So if that's your channel, Couch Co-op, I guess, go check it out, everybody. That's really nice. Thank you, Clinton. I very much appreciate it. I mean, I appreciate the beer suggestion last time, even though it wasn't necessarily my jam, but I just want to try them. Anybody else want to throw out beer suggestions? I'll see what I can do. Mm. But that is so good. That is so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. That's going to be my dipping sauce. I can tell you right now, that's going to be what I'm going to pour some in here and eat the rest of these nuggies with. Although that honey mustard is a very close contender. <laughs> uh, let's see. So now we're going to move on to Hellfire. Now, the thing with this one, as delicious as it is, I did refrigerate it like I was told. And now I'm going to put a cold sauce on a warm nugget. And it's like, oh, man, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? All right. But real quick, let's run through this one. Uh, this is a longtime channel supporter. Dank Helmet. What's up, Dank Helmet? Really has nothing to do with the video he's posting on. <laughs> But that's how YouTube goes. Sometimes it's fine. I'm not complaining. But he says, uh, Willie's Wonderland trailer reaction, please. Thumbs up. I responded Thursday or Friday. This was two weeks ago. I've obviously done it. And he says, thanks, Mr. Butts. Well, thank you, Dank Helmet. Thank you for all the suggestions. You know, I, I usually try to listen to you very much because you always give me good suggestions. All right, let's try some Hellfire on a chicken nugget. It's a little wet, too, so I got to be careful how I pour. What's the problem with doing these hot sauces is like, dips is like you end up using half the bottle as a dip and then you feel like you got to eat it all or you just wasted this delicious hot sauce i could take a lot more hot sauce but this is just you know it's not about heat today anyway so mm. i forgot how good that sauce is mm. Mm. oh crap that goes really good with the chicken nuggets too mm. Mm. Oh shit, that goes, that goes better than I thought it would. And now of course we have some heat coming in because that's a bit hotter. Like a five, I think. I think it's in the new lineup. I think it's in their five spot if, if I'm remembering correctly. All right, so next uh, we have a frequent commenter that I appreciate. We have Angie Lupus Life reviews, just a bunch of chili peppers. Are they red hot? Where did my socks go? Why does my socks smell funny? All right. Uh, thank you, Angie. <laughs> uh, Harry Brooke, every day after I finish my schoolwork. Oh, hi, Harry, I should say. Um, every day after I finish my schoolwork, I always come and watch you. Your videos are inspirational. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you so much, Harry. That's really, really nice of you. I appreciate that so much. And I'm glad that me just goofing around and being a dingleberry can in inspire and help people and, and, you know, just entertain. That's all I really want to do is put a smile on your face. So thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying it. And uh, cool, we have three left. All right, all right, and we got one sauce left. And I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve nuggets left. Not that I'm going to eat them all here. I'm going to just enjoy some as dinner. Mm. But now let's get on to the hot honey mustard. <laughs> and this one I'm going to pour down here, and I'll pick up because I don't mind now. Now that we're on the last sauce, if the plate gets a little messy with this. And I know this was kind of thick and thin, so it's a little bit hard to deal with. So I'm gonna coat a nugget here. And then I'll let you know, I'll show it to you before we get going. It's also one of those sauces, I think that once it starts going, it won't stop. Yep. Okay. You can see, put plenty on there. Plenty, that's probably more than this needs, but it's so delicious. Oh, well, you know what, let's do this comment on the way. Chris. It. Hey Chris, what's happening? Just watching you eat that sauce makes my mouth burn. Here we go. Oh, mm. 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 Okay. Mm. I really like this. I think it'll be great on a burger. It's pretty good with the chicken, but ooh, there comes some heat for sure. I think it's the apple cider vinegar that I'm not liking in this. Well, not not liking, but 
I'm not liking it. Oh man, that is hot actually. I forgot that's a seven. That's that's up there. Let me scoop up some more. <laughs> mm. Get some my honey mustard to cool it down. It's good though. But I think that'd be better on burgers. I really do. So <clears throat> backstepped. Hi backstepped. Oh god, that's a 1610 mark. It says this is how you know it's a good hot sauce. It takes only a second to taste it, but minutes later you're still feeling it. Or the next day. <laughs> um whew. yeah. That definitely has some heat. I'm not I'm not looking for super hot right now. So I'm done with that one right now, but it's good. But yeah, that definitely on burgers, maybe on brats. Mm. Mm hmm. I think that'd be pretty good on brats. You know what? I'm gonna scrape up some more of my honey mustard off this thing here. What's left on this plate? Mm. Damn, it's got my gums going, y'all. We got one more comment. Ugh. And then I'm gonna eat these for fun. Mmm. Yeah. Damn. I'm telling you that that honey mustard dressing I made for it is insanely good. Insanely good. Mmm. Now obviously I can't take credit. I use somebody else's recipe, but I followed it and it is awesome. So a lot of times when I do these cooking things, nobody's asked, but I'll tell you. I usually start with somebody else's recipe. And then when I go back to do it again, I'll change some things up kind of make it more mine. You know, I kind of go with the base thing so I can see what they're doing and learn how it works and then um, add some things to it. Whew, I forgot I wasn't supposed to drink, by the way. Sorry. All right, last comment. Dr. Unqualified. I love that name. Hi, Dr. Unqualified. <coughs> Says, I love your shirt. Well, thank you. I love Gwynpool. Oh, we're not, not talking about now. Um, but it was another Marvel shirt. It was, uh, was it, it was, yeah, it was Thor. It was a uh, dad bod Thor with his glass of milk out of a marble crate. So very, very, very cool. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, a couple of things I'll just tell you before I get out of here, since we're talking about all the cooking, Sam, the cooking guy on YouTube, his recipes are legit. Um, I've made a few of his things and they are fantastic. Some of the other guys I follow, I'm like, okay, it's pretty good. I see what you're doing, but bam, bam, bam. It's not quite for me. Let me throw a few extra things in here. Like that's how I got to my incredible garlic bread recipe and such. Um, let's make a little dipping cup here, y'all. I should have got the smaller cup in hindsight. Um, but yeah, Sam the Cooking Guy, I really haven't had to tweak anything I've made from him. I've also got an Indian cooking book now, so hopefully I'm gonna start doing some Indian food at some point. I know Mary will be excited about that. I also wanna try making some sushi, some basic sushi. No master. Almost missed my mouth. Um, mm. that barbecue sauce is dope, by the way. And then the more I start cooking things, the more um, I get comfortable with those particular things and I just start making up my own things. Like, what is it? It's Joshua something on YouTube. I did his garlic bread. And the first time I was like, it's all right. And the second time I really upped the garlic and the cheese ante in it. And then it came, and I baked it longer and it came out phenomenal. And, uh, I kind of forgot where I was going with that statement. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. All right, I think, is that good? Did we do it? We got a video? Yeah, we got a video. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chicken nuggets left to eat, and I'm gonna go do that. But thank you for the support and everything, of course. Check out YouTube members, check out Patreon if you want more cooking videos. You wanna see me actually cooking. I'm talking like, you know, buying veggies. Well, you don't see me go buy them, but uh, taking veggies and cleaning them and peeling them and slicing them and dicing them and mincing them and mixing it and shredding cheese and, you know, chopping herbs and boiling and frying and sauteing and baking, like legit cooking. Um, you might want to check, oh, sorry. You might want to check some of that stuff out. Uh, Patreon is only a dollar a month. You'll get a video every, every week. They're long though. Like I, I let the camera run pretty much the whole process. So they're usually like an hour, hour and a half. I've gone up to three hours in one of them before. Uh, <laughs> and then for a dollar, well, actually for the four ninety nine tier, you'll get the YouTube membership one, but you also get an extra let's play and all that other stuff too. So badges, emotes, you can have my crying face to use as an emote on YouTube. So, you know, that's all out there. It's all a possibility. All possibilities are possible until they're not. Yeah, that's true. All right. I'm going to get out of here. 
because Mary and I need to go play some stuff for a video that came out before this one. And then we have a butt ton of movies and shows to watch. And then we gotta get in Golden Globe season, so make sure you're getting on that Discord server, especially if you're interested in following the, the uh, Golden Globe's progress. And I'm definitely gonna do this for the Oscars too, because we will return for our Oscar stream this year, which is like out in April. They really push the Oscars. But on the Golden Globes thing, I made a, a category in our Discord server for Golden Globes. There's one where I literally list every single film that's nominated and where you can legally find it and watch it and win. And um, then we have a discussion, so we can just talk about all those all those movies. So come on over, have fun doing that. I'm gonna eat, I'll see y'all later, okay? Ow. Bye. Okay, <clears throat> so I, I just, there's like two seconds. So while this is happening, because the heat is building, we have Hot Ones, 20, January 2021. In this month's episode, Sean rings in a new year in a true Spice Lord fashion. Capture this cartoon and tag at Heatness and at Verse Sweet Feast for a chance to win a free bottle of sauce. I'm not dying, but that is definitely heat. All right, Happy New Year, Spice Lords. A new year calls for a new season of hot questions and even hotter wings. Season 14 is right around the corner, and that means more celebrities coming to you from wherever they are, artfully replicating, replicating the hot one set and melting down over the wings of doom. Yeah, this is kind of where, this is my very pleasant high end of the heat levels. Going over this starts to be not fun. Uh, <laughs> We're bringing back some of your favorite makers with new, never before seen sauces that we've been hooked on since first taste. This month's shipment features two season 14 sauces. Oh, only two of them are in there. And one new launch that you're gonna love. See if you can figure out which is which. Okay, the Adobolo Colo, co the Adobolo Loco Minas Bra. Our Hawaiian faves are back, born from a homeschool garden project in Maui, Abacala, Adobolo Co has been cracking out, cranking out Hawaiian style pepper water hot sauce ever since. Through their, uh, though the heat here is no big deal, hence the name. The flavor of sweet red jalapenos that tart apple cider vinegar, garlic, honey, and sea salt result in a mellow sauce that's downright chuggable. I firmly agree with that. <clears throat> we love it on roasted breakfast potatoes or splashed in a winter soup. We just know this sauce is gonna be the barbecue star when you get it on some chicken. Yeah, I could totally see that. I could totally see that. So it is kind of swelling around my tongue a little bit, but the heat is already starting to dissipate, by the way. Hellfire, Devil's Blend Roasted Reaper. Longtime Hot Ones fan, fans will recognize Hellfire from Fiery Fool, season six, and Fear This, season eight, both in the nine spot. Now they're back with a less sinister, still delicious sauce. Ah, okay, I see. Featuring fire roasted jalapenos, tomatillos, Granny Smith apples, scallion, and of course, a bit of roasted reaper. The effect is a tangy, smoky concoction with a hint of sweet tart flavor Ooh, that adds depth to everything it touches. Try it with pulled chicken, tacos, guac, and more. Yeah, absolutely. All those sound fantastic. And then we have Torchbearer Honey Badger. With scorpion peppers as the second ingredient, this sauce is a straight heater. And just in case those don't do it for you, Carolina Reapers are also attending this fiery party. All this heat would mean nothing if Honey Badger didn't also pack the big flavor you'd expect from the crew at Torchbearer. Golden sweet honey is balanced with a sour vinegar notes, spring singing mustard powder, and other spices. Blended with the canola oil, it has the signature rich texture that makes Torchbearer sauce so craveable. A must have for pork chops, chicken tenders, and anything on a pretzel bun. Oh yeah, that'll be really good on like a cheeseburger with a pretzel bun. Oh yeah, maybe a little sauerkraut. Mm. Um, this month's sticker rings in 2021 with hope for new adventures, more time with friends and family, and a whole lot of hot sauce. We can't wait to hear what you think of the new sauces. Be sure to let the community know by dropping a review of your favorites on the sauce pages of our site <clears throat> and using hashtag stay spicy and hashtag hot ones on your social post. Wishing you all the best for a warming year ahead. Stay spicy, Noah uh, Chainberg, founder of Heat Mist. Yeah, very, very cool. Very, very good. Um, my mouth definitely has some tingling still going on, but it's certainly calmed down at this point. And you know, I don't feel like I'm gonna die like I often do <laughs> when we get into some of these. But uh, yeah, this is a great box this month. Like all three of these are delicious and totally edible, even with getting into some of the hotter heat. And I'm honestly very excited to do these on wings. And uh, I'm filming this on uh, Thursday before the Super Bowl. So unfortunately I'll be going out to dinner, so I don't necessarily get to cook on Super Bowl, but I was thinking it'd be nice to make these wings uh, for the Super Bowl. But 
Anyways, that's my thoughts on this month's January's Hot Ones. I think it's a great box. I love this one. All three of these tastes, these are fantastic. I am getting a little bit drippy from the heat. But uh, let me know, have you tried any of these? Which is your favorite? What do you think of these ingredients? Do you make hot sauces? You've got recipes? I've been doing a lot of hot sauce making. I've got vlogs of all that on Patreon and, and membership videos as well. But I'd love to hear your thoughts, so definitely geek out with me in the comments below. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button, give me that good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. You can check out the join button for YouTube memberships at the super supporter two and up level use where you get the food vlogs. It doesn't list that there yet because when I set it up, I wasn't ready to do that. And of course you can go over to patreon.com, link in the description, dollar a month, extra video every day, once a week, it's a vlog, it's often cooking. And of course we also have the merch store down there, exclusive designs every month. And we have I love butts stuff right now. I should have made one that says I love butts stuff next year. Um, <laughs> and of course we have the Discord server invite. You definitely want to come over there. We even have a whole food channel. We all love showing each other what we're cooking, what we're eating, sharing recipes, and a whole lot more fun to be had there at the Cool Peeps party. So come on over. Everybody's cool. Everybody's invited. Until you're a jerk, then we just kick you right on out and the party keeps rolling. So that's how it goes over there. All right, uh, that's it. I guess I'm gonna, oh yeah, no, that's it. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go make some dinner. I'm gonna eat some more stuff and stay spicy. So I'll see you all <laughs> later. <laughs>